Hi, this is Yvonne from Kiwi Math, and this video is about the strategies for comparing fractions that are used in third grade. And this is uh, what is actually built upon in fourth grade, so fourth graders need to know these strategies plus more, but we're just focusing on the third grade strategies. So the first strategy is called common denominators, and we use this strategy when we have two fractions that have the same denominator. In this case, the denominator is six. And in order for us to figure out what's more, 4 sixths or 2 sixths, we have to think about what the denominator actually means. So if we take a look at both of the holes that we're talking about, right, the hole for 4 sixths and the hole for 2 sixths, both of these holes are cut into six pieces, six equal pieces, which means that the sizes of the pieces in each hole are the same. And that's what our denominator means. It actually tells us the size of the piece. So if both both holes are cut into six pieces, then we have to take a look at the numerator. And what does the numerator actually tell us? It tells us the number of pieces that we're looking at. So in the case of four sixths, we're looking at four pieces that are the size of six. In the case of two sixths, we're looking at two pieces that are the size of six. And therefore, you can see visually that the four sixths is greater. And if we think about that conceptually, if we think about the, the denominator being the size of the pieces, then anytime there's a common denominator, the, the greater numerator, which is the greater number of pieces, is going to be greater. Let's take a look at our second strategy. This one is called common numerators. And this would, would, would be used when we have two fractions that have the same numerator. So in this case, the numerator is 4. And again, Let's reiterate from before that the number of pieces is what the numerator means. So this means that we have four pieces that are the size of sixths and four pieces that are the size of eighths. So if we have the same number of pieces, if I have four pieces and you have four pieces, which one is greater? And in order to answer that, we have to look at the denominator, which tells us the size of the pieces. So let's just take a look at what sixths would look like. This is our whole, and it's cut into six equal pieces. And now we're going to take the same exact size whole, and we're going to cut it into eight equal pieces. And what you could see is that one piece that's the size of six is that's the size of a sixth is greater than one piece that's the size of an eighth. And why is that? If we're taking the same size whole and we're splitting it into more pieces, each of those pieces is going to be smaller. Therefore, if you have a greater denominator, each piece is going to be smaller. So if we have if we know that one piece that's a sixth is greater than one piece that's an eighth, then if we have four pieces of each, you could clearly see that four sixth is greater than four eighth, four eighths. So again, we want to think about the number of pieces that we have is the same. So what's different is the size of the pieces and the fraction with the smaller denominator gives us the bigger size pieces and therefore that's the greater fraction. Our last strategy for third grade is called the missing piece strategy. So let's just think about what kind of fractions we could compare that have a missing piece and what that actually means. So this is an example of a, of a fraction that's missing one piece. And that just means that it's missing one piece to get to a whole. There's, there, there's, everything is shaded in except for one piece. And this fraction would be three-fourths. And we're comparing that with another fraction that's missing one piece to get to a whole. In this case, that fraction is 5 6. So you could see that each of these fractions are missing one piece. Now, visually, you can see that 5 6 is greater, but how do we explain that? How do we prove that 5 6 is the greater fraction? And in order to do that, we take a look at the actual missing piece. So we could see that 3 4 is missing a greater piece than 5 6, which means if it's missing a greater piece, then there's less shaded in. Let me say that again with the, with the 5 6. 5 6 is missing a smaller piece than 3 4. If it's missing a smaller piece, that means it needs less to get to a whole. And 3 4 needs more to get to a whole. So in this case, the, the greater fraction is 5 6. The greater fraction is the fraction that's missing a smaller piece. Hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.